Hey guys, it's JK Wargames, and today we're going to do a playthrough of Mission 1 on their own for the last 100 yards by GMT Games. So we've got the Americans set up, the Germans are entering on the southern board edge, and basically the Germans have to try and control five building hexes and the church. Um, or the game ends when the score goes over 46. So if the Germans can't um, capture the buildings and they go over 36, it'll be a draw. If it goes 46 plus, it'll be an American victory. So the Americans are the attackers for the first turn. They have the initiative and uh, the casualty difference is the Germans have four and the Americans have two. So let's see how we get on. Let's start the battle. Okay, so I'm rolling a dice for the Germans to see if they can activate more than one platoon. We've rolled a three, so it's only a single platoon activation. So the second platoon are gonna activate first. So they're gonna move on three hexes for three movement points. So one, two, three. So that's them done. Now I'm not going to put any counters to say they've moved or activated because that will just confuse people. So what we'll do is we'll just put them at an angle like that. The support MG is going to come on. Now he can go one, two, but he doesn't have enough movement points to get into the uh, woods because that costs one and a half movement points. Um, and then these guys here are going to move into the building. So they've got one, two, three because it only costs one to get in there so they've uh, activated we're going to call for reaction for the american player now the only guy well no one had line of sight really so we're restricted to movement only so the mg is going to move one onto the edge of that woods so he's activated and my other guys are just going to sit still. So we'll call back for reaction from the Germans. So now they're going to move on. The third platoon. Now, they can only move two hexes because this is a reaction, not a platoon activation. So they're going one, two. And the other guys are going one, two. So now we'll call for reaction from the American player which I think we will just move one of these round. So we're going to go one, two to there. That ends the first turn. So we're going to roll for initiative. Now the Germans have a plus two on their dice roll for initiative. Uh, but the Americans get that with a 10. So the initiative has gone to the Americans. So they're going to roll to see if they can activate more than one platoon. They can, but they only have one platoon, so we don't even need to roll. So their first thing they're going to do then is the MG is going to fire at this unit here. He has a clear line of sight down to them here. So he has a 10 and they are one, two, three, four, five hexes away. So we have a minus one which brings his one to a zero. So we're gonna place a zero marker on that squad as they are being suppressed by the machine gun. Um, this guy here is gonna move his three because it, remember it's a pl platoon activation. So one, two, three. We're gonna call for reaction from the German player. This squad here is going to fire at them as they come around the edge of the woods. They are one, two, three hexes away with a 10. So there's no modifier. So they get a one marker on them. So the Germans were able to react to that because they came within line of sight. So there's a one marker on them. So they've activated. Um, third platoon here are going to move one two like so uh, we're called for reaction from the American player and he's not going to do anything 
So we'll now move this squad here as we call back for reaction from the Germans. Or, in fact, what we'll do is we'll move the machine gun into the wood line, and then these guys will move three, uh, two, sorry, one, two, like so. This unit in here is going to stay in the building. Now, before we do that, let's bring them back a sec. Before we do that, this unit's going to fire on the machine gun. They are one, two, three, four, five away. So it's a minus one, brings it to a zero, but it's a minus one because he's got a bit of concealment in the woods. So it's a minus one marker on the machine gun. So that is placed there. Um, then this unit will move and they take their suppression marker with them. So one, two. Now we call for reaction from the American player. And this unit has line of sight to this German unit. They have just moved into that hex. He has a clear line of sight. So they're going to fire. They are one, two, three, four away with an eight. Four away with an eight is minus one. So it's going to be another zero marker on them. So they've got two markers on them now. Like so. So they've activated. No one else is going to activate. Um, so that is the end of the turn. Well, it's not. It's the end of the activation. We now go to fire resolution phase. Now, because it's the American initiative, the Germans are going to roll first for their markers. So we've got two zeros. So we roll one dice, but no modifiers. So we roll a one, so no effect. And we only take the best result. And then the next one is a three, so it's no effect. So the Germans get away with that. I'm going to roll for the Americans. Now they have two. Over here they have a plus one. They've rolled an eight plus one is a nine, which is a lot higher than their cohesion of five. So they are disrupted. So they flip over. If there was any other uh, stacks or units with them, they would have to do a cohesion check. Okay, and now this unit down here has a minus one. So we've rolled a four, minus one is three, no effect. So that's the end of the turn. We're gonna roll for initiative. Remember, the um, Americans have plus two now, because they had the initiative. So the Americans, three, four, five. So the Americans have the initiative again. So, we're not gonna roll for single platoon activation, because, uh, double platoon activation, because we've only got one platoon. So, first action then is the machine gun firing on this unit. One, two, three hexes away. No modifier, so they get a one marker on them. Like so. Now, this unit's going to fire as well. One, two, three, four away with eight. It's a minus one, so that's going to be a zero. So they've got a zero and a one. No one else is going to do anything. They're going to. We're going to do a recovery here. So we need a five or less to recover. We've rolled a 10. So when you roll a 10, when you're trying to recover, you become heroic. So this unit now flips and becomes heroic. So let me find my counter with heroic. And he must attempt to assault the nearest enemy unit. So he's now got a cohesion of eight as well. So he has to move one, two, three, one, two. So there's gonna be an assault here, which doesn't happen yet, but we get an assault arrow marker. We know there's gonna be an assault and the Americans, the attacker. So we're gonna call for reaction from the German player. So the first thing they're going to do then is the machine gun in the wood line is going to try and get this guy here. So one, two, three, four with 12 is a minus one. So that's a zero marker on the machine gun. Like so, because they've got to deal with him. He's causing havoc. Um, now, 
this unit here is going to move into the woods. So they're going to go one and a half, two and a half, which makes three movement points. Um, this unit is going to stay back in this building because they've secured that building already. Um, this unit will... What will they do? They will push on. So they're going to go one, two up the road, which is dangerous. Um, so calling back to reaction from the American player. He's going to react and shoot at these guys on the edge of the wood. So they are one, two, three with eight. So three with eight is a minus one, which is a zero and then minus one for the edge of the woods. So it's a minus one marker. If I can find one. There we are, a minus one mark. So the Americans reacted here. They got a minus one marker on them. Call for reaction from the Germans. So this unit here is going to fire at the heroic unit coming into them. So it's a one. He's within two hexes, which puts it up a further one, so it's a two marker. So a plus two marker on the heroic unit there. Um, that is everyone that needs to act, act. So we're going into the fire resolution phase. So the Germans have to roll first because the Americans have the initiative. So this German squad, minus one. So they roll a nine, minus one is eight. So they are disrupted. So the best unit, this one, seven is flipped. And then the other units have to do a cohesion check. So a five or less failed. So he disrupts. And the leader, a six or less. Um, he is fine. So both of these disrupt. And the leader could bring that eight. Actually, I forgot what we rolled. The leader can bring it down by one, but we'll leave it like that. So now the German unit here has a plus one. A six plus one is seven. So the um, they are fine, and the leader brings that down by one. But we'll roll with the zero modifier, which is a six. So they're fine. No effect there. Um, the Americans will roll now, so the machine gun in the woods is a zero. He rolls a three, he's fine. And the heroic unit with a plus two. He rolls a six, seven, eight. Remember he has a cohesion of eight now because he's heroic, so there's no effect there. Oh, and I'll tell you what we didn't do. We didn't roll for time at the end of the uh, first turn, so let's do that quick. We rolled an eight. So an eight... Puts us on four minutes, that's my mistake. Sorry guys. Okay, so let's roll for an issue. Oh, no, no, I'm getting carried away again. An assault here. So the heroic unit comes into this hex and this is not gonna go well because this German unit has one, two, three, four, five points worth of assault stats and he has a one. So, we look at our modifiers here. He is a heroic unit, so he gains another one. So it's a two. So two, and they have five. So it's five. Take away two is three. So he has a plus three on his dice roll. So he has rolled a one, plus three is four. So, Attacker must retreat, so he goes back two hexes, one, two. Um, he must do a cohesion check, so we'll roll that now. He's fine. Yep, we've done that. Uh, riders, uh, sorry, check for leader lost, there's no leader there. Attacking and defending non-vehicle units, not disrupted a mark with a regrouping marker. So we'll just grab that now. So they have a minus one on their fire next turn because they are 
disorganized they're regrouping and um, we remove that arrow okay now we're going to roll for time for the end of the second turn we've rolled an eight again so that is four minutes so we're on eight minutes total so the germans are within victory points at the moment so we're going to roll for initiative americans have plus two well, they got two, three, four, so the Americans get that initiative again. So let's reset everyone. Now, okay, first thing we're going to do then, this machine gun is going to fire at these guys because we, we don't want them getting into a building. So they're within two, so it's going to be a two marker because they get that plus one for being within two hexes. So he's activated. Um, this unit, this unit over here, sorry, is going to fire at these guys because if they're disrupted and they fail again, they'll take a casualty. So they are one, two, three away with eight. So three away with eight is minus one, which is a zero. And then it's minus one for the woods. So it's a minus one marker on them. So they've activated um this unit here will fire here and it's going to be a two marker because they're within two so that german unit has got themselves in a bit of trouble now so there we go like that and i'm going to call for reaction from the german player so the first thing this german unit's going to do is fire at the unit in the building so they have Put their markers there they have a one they're within two puts it up to a two but it's minus two for being in a building so it's a zero so they fire at the american infantry in the building so they've acted now um the machine gun's going to fire across at the other machine gun which is one two three four hexes away with 12 so it's a minus one, takes it to a zero. It's going to be a minus one marker. There we go. Like so. Um, call for re... Yeah, call for reaction from the American player then. This heroic unit has to assault the closest enemy again. So he's going to come in there. It's going to be another assault. Call for reaction from the German player. They're going to fire on him, so it's going to be a plus two. Uh, plus, it's going to be a two marker, but minus one because they're regrouping, so it's a one marker, like so. So, no, in fact, take that back. They're not going to do that. Yes, they are because they're being assaulted. They can't move. Okay, so. This unit saw that, so this unit's going to break out the building and move. So they're going to go one, two. The call for reaction from the American player. He doesn't have anything to react with or move. This unit's quite happy in that building. So fire resolution phase. So the Germans will roll first. So a minus one. They rolled a seven, minus one is six. Oh, sorry, this unit didn't act. So they would actually um, attempt to recover. So we'll just do that. So they rolled a nine. So they, they failed. And the guy underneath would have passed. So the guy underneath passes. But they failed. But what we just rolled doesn't affect them. So they're fine. They don't take a casualty. Um, but this unit here has two, two pluses on. So the first one. They roll a six plus two is eight. And the other one is six, seven, eight. So it's the same. So they do disrupt. So he disrupts and the guy underneath takes a cohesion check. He passes and the leader uh, passes as well. Okay. The American unit then, the heroic have a plus one. He's rolled a seven plus one is eight. 
He has a cohesion of 8 because he's heroic, so he's fine. Uh, this unit, the machine gun, has a minus 1. He rolls a 9, minus 1 is 8. So he's disrupted. So that will help the Germans. And the unit here has no modifier. They roll a 10. Uh, which is a casualty. So they are flipped. And if I can find my token, we replace them with a disrupted random unit of the same platoon. And that goes one towards the Americans on the casualty track. So they're one away from going over their, uh, sorry, they're two away from going over their limit. Okay, so. Okay, so now there's gonna be assault with the heroic unit. We know that the heroic unit has a one, plus one for being heroic. The other, the other unit has five. Now we got this wrong last time. It is the attacker's um, stats. So three minus five is the result. So he has a minus two off his die roll. And we roll a two. Minus two takes us to zero. So let's look here. Uh, oh dear. So attacker must retreat. Each retreating disrupted unit suffers a casualty. Each retreating undisrupted uh, unit must conduct a cohesion check. So he's going to do that, which he passes. If they pass, um, and disrupt if they pass. So he's going to retreat two, and he disrupts. So he'll lose that heroic marker now. That's how I play it. So um, that is it. Yeah, so we're going to roll for time now. So we roll a dice. We roll a three, which gives us three more minutes. So we've got 11 minutes so far. But... It's got a minus four on it for the Germans because of the casualty taken by the Americans. So we're going to roll the dice for initiative. And the Americans have six, seven, eight, and the Germans have seven. So the rules are written that the Germans get plus two, but I'm sure that's only at the beginning of the game. And then whoever has the initiative gets that plus two. That's the way I'm playing it anyway. So... <clears throat> the Americans have initiative here. So, what are they going to do? So, the first thing they're going to do then is this unit in the building is going to fire at the unit in the woods. So, one, two, three. Three with an eight is minus one. Zero. So, we know it's going to be a minus one because they're in the woods. So, they've acted. Um... This unit does have line of sight through to here. I can run the line down there. So they're going to fire at them. One, two, three with an eight. Gives us a minus one. So it's going to be a zero marker on them. My unit in the building are going to attempt to recover. They need a six or less. Yep, they rolled a five. So that's all they can do this turn. This unit here, the machine gun, he rolls a two, so he recovers, but he cannot do anything else. If he rolled a one, he could have acted as well. And my unit over there, he rolls a ten. I can't believe it. I've just rolled a ten again. He becomes heroic. This is ridiculous. He becomes heroic and must assault the closest unit. So it's just going to be the same thing over here. Okay, a call for reaction from the German player then. This unit here will fire at the machine gun. One, two, three. Three with ten. There's no modifier, but minus one for the woods. Gives us a zero marker on the machine gun. So they've acted. Um, this unit is staying put in that building. This unit here would move, but 
they are restricted because they're being assaulted. They can only fire upon that unit. Um, so the unit out here um, will attempt to recover then. So I need a six or less. Yes, he recovers. That is all they can do. And the unit in the woods will recover with a five or less. He recovers. So the Germans are getting themselves back in order here. So that we call for reaction from the American player, but they have reacted with everything. So fire resolution phase. Germans roll first. A zero here. They've rolled a four. No effect. They're fine. Unit in the woods have a minus one. They've rolled a six. They're absolutely fine. And the American unit here, the machine gun, has a zero. He rolls a three, so he's fine. So there's no effect there. We then go on to this assault. And we know it's exactly the same thing. It's going to be a minus two off his result. This time he rolls a three. And minus two off that gives us a one. So, yeah, attacker must retreat. Disrupted unit suffers a casualty, so he's going to retreat. One, two, and then do a cohesion check, which he has failed. So it says here, cohesion check, and or suffer a casualty and disrupt if they fail. So he fails, and the casualty track goes on to their limit. Now, if they take one more casualty, the Americans, they've gone over it. So they need to try and get some casualties on the Germans. Um, and that is it. They're not, they don't have a regroup marker. So remove that. So roll for time. I've rolled a two, which gives us two more minutes. So we're on 13 minutes. But remember, we've now got minus six on that. So the Germans have got control of this, but they haven't taken those buildings yet. So we're going to roll for initiative and we rolled an eight for the Germans and a three for the Americans. So the Germans have the initiative, which is what they needed, to be honest. So first thing they're going to do then, they're going to roll for platoon activation. They roll a 10. So um, they can activate both platoons before the Americans can re react. So let's have a look here. This unit is going to assault that unit in the building. So they're going to go one. Like that. And then they will have an assault arrow. If I can find the German one quickly. There it is. Um, where's the rest second platoon? So he's going to fire at the machine gun unit. One, two, three. Three with a ten is no modifier. Just minus one for that um, concealment in the woods. So it's a zero. So zero on him. This second platoon is going to move. So he's going to go one and a half. So he can't move anymore. That unit's staying back there. Now go on to third platoon. So they're going to move out now. So they're going to go one, two, three. And this unit is going to go and assault. So they're going to go one, two. So there'll be an assault marker there as well. As long as they're in their movement points, they can... Uh, so, so, third platoon back here, or section, is going to fire. So, one of them is going to move, one, one and a half in there. The other two are going to fire here, so one, two. So, it's a two marker on that guy. And now call for reaction from the German player. So that having that 
both platoons activate is really powerful. So this, what are we going to do here? This machine gun then will fire at the unit here. They are three away with ten. Is no modifier, so they're going to have a one marker on them. Um, and I'm just going to check something. Yep, yeah, so this unit here is going to fire at the unit assaulting them. So they have a zero, but they're within two, so it's a one marker on that unit. And the unit here is going to fire upon them, which will be a two marker, like so. Um, and these guys don't have line of sight to anyone. So this guy's going to try and recover. He has rolled a eight, so he does not recover. So uh, fire resolution phase, the Americans have to roll first. So we're going to roll for the machine gun. He has a zero. He's rolled a six, so he's absolutely fine. We're going to roll for the unit up here. They rolled a nine. He's failed. So this um, is now a casualty, um, which puts the American over their casualty limit. So the game has ended. So let me just show you here. They've gone over that casualty limit because the Americans only get two in this scenario. So the game has ended. So it's a German victory. Um, but we have, well, Actually, I say it's a German victory. We still need to play out the turn. If the Germans get some casualties, it could bring it back down. So let's just see what happens. So a plus one here. A seven plus one is eight, which does disrupt that unit. So cohesion check for the other guy. He fails. So they're both like that. And the leader, he passes. So they're both disrupted. And then up here we've got a plus two. So we're all a two, plus two is four. No effect. And then here is a plus one, four, five, no effect. So we'll go through the assaults here. They now have only one and they have one. So there's no difference, but they are assaulting a unit in a building. So defender in a rural building. So they got plus one. So it's his two versus their one. So he takes away one off his dice roll. A nine gives us an eight. So defender must retreat. Oh, where are we? Yes, defender must retreat. So he goes one, two. And then do a cohesion check, which gives us a 10, which uh, is a fail. And the leader passes. Check for leader loss. No, we're fine. Attacking and defending non-vehicle units are not disrupted. Are marked with a regrouping marker. So they get a regrouping marker. Um, so... Um, oh, sorry, that was the wrong assault. <laughs> that was the wrong assault. My mistake. It's this one here. So he retreated to like that, and they got a regroup. So then here, the attacker has three. The defender has three. So there is no modifier. So roll the dice. A two. That's not good. Attacker must retreat, so they go one, two, back into the woods and conduct a cohesion check, which he passes and the leader fails. Leader fails, like so. Uh, check for leader loss, they're fine. Attacking and defending non-vehicles are marked with a regrouping marker, 
so that unit gets a regrouping marker. Um, it's the end of the turn, so we're going to roll for time. We've rolled a nine, which gives us five minutes, which gives us a total of 18 minus nine, which gives us um, a victory for the Germans. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys. This is just the first um, mission. So I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.